What's going on guys and welcome to episode number 11 of Win One Take One. In today's episode we're up against Hull and Leicester. Now we're going to give up Fabregas his first game for us. I know I said at the end of the last episode he probably won't feature against Hull but he's, ac he's actually okay when he come back from his bruised head or whatever he had. So he's going to start the match with Song. That's going to be my preferred midfield too. So I'll just talk to you about my, what my what my probable first team 11 would be. So Czech would start in goal, obviously. It would be Creswell, uh, Reed instead, instead of Tompkins, Ogbonna, Jenkinson, Song, Fabregas. Um, Moses would be on the right. Lanzini in the middle, Payet on the left. And I'm not sure about striker because at the start of the season, I wanted Sacco. He's, he's got seven goals in 12 starts, eight off the bench, two, two assists. But... Um, Zerati is playing amazingly. Uh, 12 appearances, 10 off the bench, 11 goals and 4 assists. So it'll be a toss-up between those two, really. But we'll, we'll hint at the first match. I'll just check my instructions. They're okay. So it's just in the Capital One Cup, but we're still putting out a strong team because I think I think we can win it. Um, Man United actually got knocked out in this round of, uh, by uh, Crystal Palace. We're going to have to give a squad number to somebody. It'll be Fabregas, won't it? Uh, Fabregas, you can be number... 60. Why not? So we're into the match. Man City against Liverpool. So a good team is going to be knocked out there. And Tottenham against Everton. So another decent team will be knocked out. So I think if we do get by Hull in before we lose to them. Uh, they, wow, they're playing a weird formation. Do you count that as a back five? Uh, Diami Hudson, Livermore. And then they've got two up front with Aluko and Hernandez. So we'll quickly do this. We'll tell the players uh, I expect a win. It's not really, they didn't really react <laughs> to that. Uh, we'll start on standard. Uh, we'll, whilst, whilst they don't do the individual team talks, actually, nothing really happened there either. So we'll start the match and hopefully we can keep up our good form against Hull and go through to the fourth round of the Capital One Cup. Fabregas did his first touch for us. Ooh, he's getting involved already, isn't he? Take a look at the stats. Five. <laughs> he said we had 97% possession there. I was like, what? Uh, I'm going to go attacking. Oh, there's a highlight. Lanzini, Sacco. Song. Finds Valencia. He's in the box. Shoots straight at the goalkeeper. Lanzini. It's a bit of a mess. Fabregas on the edge of the box. Finds Moses. El Mahamdi can get it. Creswell. No, he's tackled as well. So we should put more crosses in. I don't want to put more crosses in just yet. They've actually had more shots than us, which is strange. So attacking isn't working. They're countering against us. So we're going to counter against them. I, I hate playing against teams that just sit back. But they're, they're actually getting good good stats from it. So what is happening there? We're giving Aluko too much space. But they're getting too many shots against us. We'll go back to standard. I'm not going to go to defensive against Hull, fuck that. It's just, I think we're having a hard time breaking them down because they've got like a back five. Here we go. Creswell. Ogbonna, 1-0. That's the goal that we needed. So they've had seven shots, but like we haven't seen any of them on the highlights. So we get a clear good chance. I'm not sure if it, whether it was that, that chance from the corner there or not. Anyway, there's, a hi there's another highlight straight away. Fabregas. Good ball to Sacco. Crosses in for Valencia. What a serve by McGregor. That could have been the game right there. The highlight is continuing. Lanzini crosses it in. It's, oh, Davies hit his own post. Unlucky. We could have made that two there. Quickly changed to attacking before half time. Try and kill the game off. No, it's not going to work. 1-0 at half-time. It's, it's been an, 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 an average performance, I would say. Uh, I'll tell them that we're doing okay, but they can still play better. Uh, they've got to come and attack us now, so I'm going to go on standard. It'll be interesting to see if they change formation. Because they're a good team in the championship. They shouldn't have to play a back five against us. 
Although it's arguably working. He has more his stretch from kickoff anyway. Probably nothing is going to happen. Fabregas, who I've been really impressive so far, is Abel Hernandez to Livermore. Is he actually going to be a highlight? That's the thing. Jenkinson to Lanzini. No, it's not going to be a highlight. What was the point of that? I absolutely hate those highlights. But for six shots, we've had five. Five of our shots have been on target. Uh, come on. I'll leave it for now. I don't want to make a sub just yet. See, we're getting our shot to her. 60 minutes, I'll make a sub. We'll see what Fabregas is like. Can he... Uh, 72 condition. I'm actually going to take him off. Uh, for Noble, who also is just coming back from an injury. Uh, Valencia is playing a 6.3. So we'll bring on Antonio instead. Um, I'll swap these two around. Are they both better on the opposite sides? Yeah. I thought Moses was better on the right for some reason, but apparently not. And Song could do with coming off, but he's going to stay for now. And do I sit back a bit? Mm, what a pussy I am. Yeah, we'll keep it like this. Just It's just to mostly get, get more control of the game. I don't know if that's five defenders off five midfielders. So. Come on. Let's get a second goal just to wrap it up. Jenkinson to Lanzini. Robertson intercepts it and Aluko can start the counter-attack. Livermore. Are they going to score a goal on their first highlight in the match? That is the question. It's Hayden to Dawson. I'm not going to pronounce his name. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They almost did score. Luckily, anyway. Right, I've got one more sub. I'll have to go and do that. And... So who's... Low and fitness. Lanzini could do with coming off. I'll take Lanzini off for Kiate. It's a bit, a bit more of a defensive player. I'm disappointed that I couldn't give uh, Zerate a run out in this match. Uh, he can be a ball winning midfielder support. Yeah, so we've got two ball winning midfielders there. We'll, we'll have a look at our instructions as well. I'm going to counter. In fact, what I'm. Do I put. I'm not thinking about swapping Kiate and Song around. Yeah, I think I might do that, actually. I'll keep it like this. I, I, I like that. Then... I'm not sure whether we can retain possession. Right. Do I keep it on standard? That's that's another big question for what I what what do I do? Yeah, I'm gonna keep it on standard. We'll lower the tempo a bit, we're gonna retain possession. I think that's about we'll see how it goes like this. Cause they haven't really been threatening, their only highlight was the one where they've just hit hit the post from like a weird cross. So they haven't had any clear-cut chances. We've had two. Fair enough, they've had half chances, but they haven't it hasn't been shown on the highlights. Ten minutes to go. We'll just we'll just try and kill the game now. Yeah, stay on feet as well. We'll just see how this goes. I think at 85 I might change my tactics. Yeah, there we go. So we've got two defensive midfielders. Against Hull, we're playing two defensive midfielders. <laughs> um, do I drop these two back as well? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? It just shows how seriously I'm taking the Cattle to One Cup. We've put a strong team out, and we've had to like, change tactics quite a lot. Into added time now. 
Hasn't been a great game, but we should see it out now. There we go. Full time West Ham 1, Hull 0. And there we go. Not really much to say. I'm happy to get through, but it wasn't a great performance. Happy that Fabregas came and played well. He got 7.1. And hopefully he, hopefully we can play him against uh, Leicester at the weekend. Man City just about got through with a 93rd minute goal with 10 men. Um, Everton are out as well. I, obviously, I would, I would have preferred the two teams from Liverpool to have gone through there because I think these two are stronger than these two. But never mind, we'll see who we get in the, the next round of the cup. But first off, we'll see which player we're going to take from Hull. Now, obviously Hull don't have a lot of players that will strengthen my team. I think maybe Abel Hernandez is the best pick. Maybe Chuba Akprom will be a, a good choice as well. But we're going to press go. And we get Robert Snodgrass. Now, the chances are we're probably just going to release him almost immediately. But never mind, we'll head into FM and we'll go and play our match against Leicester. The draw for the quarter-final of the Catalan Cup has seen us given the easiest team, the only championship team left in the draw, Bristol City, and we're at home. We couldn't have asked for a better tie. Man City against Tottenham, a good team's going to be knocked out there, and Chelsea against Arsenal, so another massive team is going to get knocked out. So I think we will get to the semi-finals, where hopefully we get the winner of Aston Villa Crystal Palace, just throwing that out there, and then we can get... It, like one of these teams in the final that that would be the dream scenario but what else has happened is um i've actually been offered a new contract and i i did that they wanted me to um um develop uh it won't let me see it because i've already done it but develop uh youngsters using the club's academy or whatever um i tried to get that removed because obviously i i can't do that in this serve and uh, to my surprise, they actually still offer me a contract. So there we go. So we'll head into the match against Leicester. We'll quickly process this. And I'll see you guys in one moment. So this is the team we're going to play against Leicester. Czech, Creswell, Reed, Ogbonna, Jenkinson, Song and Fabregas. They're all our first choice Like in an ideal world. They're, they're my first team starters. As is Lanzini, probably Sacco as well. Uh, Antonio's playing instead of Moses, who could uh, needed a bit of a rest. He's on the bench though, and Valencia starts on the right. Payet is still out. Kasper Schmeichel, uh, there we go. Inla, who's Hammond? Dean Hammond. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Mares, Albrighton, Vardy, and Akazaki up front. A bit brave of them to go for a front two. But anyway, we'll head into today's match and we'll see. Um, I think we can, we can actually go third if we win and results go in our favour. So that would be quite good for us. He's valid from kickoff to Hammond to Okazaki. Ogbonna makes a good tackle and that's, pro that's probably going to be the end of the highlight. It's not actually, just yet. If you, there we go, it is now. Albrighton with the corner for Leicester. Vardy were 1-0 down inside three minutes. Why don't I have his player face? I've got like, I have about 60,000 player faces. Why don't I not have Premier League ones? It's ridiculous. And they're attacking. And uh, we've got a corner. Creswell. Oh, Bonnet, the back post. Fabregas can't get there. That was a clear cut chance as well. Valencia, that, that was a good ball. It doesn't lead to anything though. We're going to attacking. Early crosses, no. Okay, we will do that. Long ball. Right. We'll, we'll see if Zidane knows what he's talking about. But we're not really playing too well at all anyway. Here's a highlight. Oh, what are you doing there? He's number 29. Oh, Bonner. He did recover, but he almost let let them in again. Antonio with a good tackle. To Sacco. To Song. Can he find a pass? There we go. Valencia. Give it to Jenkinson, maybe. No, he passes it to Fabregas. Good ball, that. Antonio. Oh, good save. Schmeichel. Fabregas will take the corner. Okazaki clears it. Fabregas again. It's a bit pinball in the box there. Song. Yeah, it goes wide. 
At least we're getting some shots away now. We're, we are attacking them. Uh, is Reed going to get a yellow card? No, he doesn't. That's good. But we'll pause it now because I'm, I'm not happy with how we're playing. I'm going to take these off. Uh, we're going to go higher tempo. And we'll keep it like that. I'm, oh, sh I, I always do this. That's a good match. 2 2 after 36 minutes. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing is exploiting the middle. Because I think. Obviously, we've got Fabregas, Song, and Lanzini. I think they're better than their centre, like their core of their team. But overall, a disappointing first half. We're, we're behind against Leicester, who were doing okay this season. They are 11th, I think it said. But yeah, I'm not not really too happy about that. We'll we'll, we'll keep it on attacking. So it's, it's what Leicester kind of deserve for being brave and going for two up front away from home. Uh, I I won't do that. <laughs> Very rare I I play two strikers, let alone like just just actually start a match. I only do when I'm losing really. Yeah, we we moved up to fifth apparently, but even though we're, we're losing, Bournemouth have taken the lead against Aston Villa. There's a highlight here. Hammond, he's got a lot of space. All Brighton, he's got an, he's got a man there, but it gives it back to Hammond, now to Fuchs. Pressing for Okazaki, 2-0. That was terrible. Right. Start of the second half. Like we've been playing well. So Sacco's not playing well, but I'm gonna have to keep him on because I'm gonna have, I'm gonna go to two strikers. I'm going to take off Antonio for Zarate. Put him up front like this. It's like the weirdest formation you'll ever see. And Moses is coming on for Valencia. Like I might do it like this it, it looks weird as fuck but I want to keep Lanzini in the middle that's like my whole reasoning behind it so obviously that the changes I made at half time just didn't work exploiting the middle didn't work higher tempo we need to keep the higher tempo we'll get stuck in We're going to have to hit early crosses, pump ball into the box. But it, it's not working. Like We're on attacking, but they're just going to sit back. But they're, st they're still playing 4-4-2, so there might still be something there for us, but I, w I wouldn't count on it. What a match this is, 4-3. Bournemouth against Aston Villa. They've changed to a 4... Well, they've made changes, but they're still playing 4-4-2. We've scored late goals in... Well, in, in the last episode, we scored late goals in both the matches. Hopefully we can get... Well, we need two here. Um, I'm going to cancel that and go into my tactics. See, what, what else can I do? We're on... Song's going to go off for Noble. Noble's a bit more creative. Fabregas is going to change to a advanced playmaker uh, on attack. Move Sako over like that. Hmm. So I'll put it so we're playing wide. Closing down much more. We're going to have to go for a higher defensive line, but I absolutely hate changing that. But 
we might as well lose 3-0 and, and go for it. 5-3 to Bournemouth. What a, what a match that is. Yeah, but we have, I need to change all our attack, uh, actually, overload. But I was just waiting to see if they, they scored there. Lanzini clears it to Sacco. Can you find uh, whoever that is in the middle, number 10? Well, let me click him. <laughs> uh, it's Serate. Ooh, good save. But we're going to have to, yeah, it has to be overload. That's the, the only thing I can change now. I'm, I've taken my, my, my hand off the mouse. But it hasn't made a good match. Like they've had 12 shots, but only 3 on target. So we've had more shots on target than them. But, no, uh, like we need two goals. If we needed one goal, then maybe 6 4 to Bournemouth. That's crazy. But yeah, we're going to lose 2 0 to Leicester, who are having a good season, to be fair to them. It's going to be full time. Noble gets a warning. But a disappointing performance there. Leicester played well. I, I don't think we started the match too well. Obviously, they got the goal after maybe three minutes, I think it was. And that's that set them up, really. But now we're going to lose a player to Leicester. And this is where it gets nervous, because we've got players like Czech and Fabregas, Payer. I don't want to lose any of them. We're, in, we're sixth place in the league now. We've got 19 points. But... When I say we're sixth place in the league, we've won six, we've lost four, we've drew one. It's not excellent by any means. But anyway, we'll go into the randomizer. And to end the episode, we'll see which player we're going to lose to Leicester. Right, I'm not going to waffle on. I'm just going to press go and see who we're going to lose. And it is Kyle Jenkinson, our first choice right back. Uh, that, in terms of first team players it's not a bad one to lose but still it's a first team player at the end of the day right I'll just head into FM and we'll switch Jenkinson to Leicester I suppose the good thing is I, I do actually have a few right backs but it will definitely weaken us losing Jenkinson we've got Gamboa and Crespo that can also play right back but I'd rather have Jenkinson playing there but we'll see He's got two assists in the league. It's not great, but he's, he's doing all right. He's got um, player of the match award as well. Move to other club and we'll move him to Leicester. If I can spell Leicester correctly. There we are. I could move him to Leicester Road, but no, I'll move him to Leicester City. And there we go. It's never nice to lose a player, but there we are. It's just just the game really we'll see if we'll put Gamboa in it uh, right back and um, he can go in on the subs bench it's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 so I said the maximum squad size that I'd like is 25 so I'm going to get rid of a player and it, it's going to be uh, Donald Henry I think he hasn't, he hasn't played for us we had him at the start of the season and, and he just like he's not really going to get into our team so what am, we, what am I looking for here terminate contract there we are so we take our team down to uh, 25 which is the maximum that I'm allowed in this serve I think the minimum I said was 20 I can't remember exactly but yeah 25 is a good number and it just shows that we're playing well because when we've got 25 players it means we've got less chance of losing players like Song and Fabregas and Czech so there we are but anyway thank you for watching this episode and I'll see you next time